Hi friends, welcome to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our MongoDB full tutorial series for beginners. This is the part two of the series and today we are going to learn about installation of MongoDB in our local system. Important topic because you have to get it right to work and learn and train in MongoDB, right? Welcome back friends. My name is Sridhar. I'm your host. I welcome you to the channel and to the series. This is a part um, of the series called MongoDB full tutorial series. Uh, the playlist link is in the description box below. If you have missed out on the previous episodes, you can always refer to them. So make sure you check it out. It, it will have around 21 tutorials that I'm planning. All right, so like I said, uh, this is a full tutorial playlist. This is the index and the outline. If you don't see any topic that you want me to cover, please let me know. I will be happy to add it. So this is a part two of that particular series. All right, so now let's talk about today's topic, which is installing MongoDB in our local machine. So there are three ways we can install MongoDB in our uh, to work with, right? Uh, not install actually. Uh, there are three ways we can use MongoDB. One is using community server, right? So it's a free edition. It's an open source uh, database. So we can download it and start using it in our local machine. That's the first approach. That's the approach most or all, I would say almost all developers will take to work locally, right? The second approach is also developer friendly because you have an extension of the MongoDB in Visual Studio code itself. Now, as a developer, if you have a remote database which is hosted and you're connecting, you want to just work in your local machine. This is also a very beautiful alternative, which is Visual Studio code extension. Finally, the third is the cloud hosted solution, which is MongoDB Atlas. It's called MongoDB Atlas. It's a cloud hosted solution offered by the company MongoDB. Right, so you just log in, you work with the database, you log out. That's as simple as that. There is no need to maintain, upgrade, install, download, all that. Let's see all the three quickly and whichever is suits you, I would say prefer that. I would choose the first two options. That's what I'm working with, but feel free to choose whichever is applicable to you or whichever suits you better for your learning purpose. I will encourage the first two options. So the first option is installing the free download via community server, right? So let's go to mongodb.com and download the latest stable version and install it in our local, right? So what we'll do, let's go ahead and to mongodb.com. So you'll see this uh, database and under software, you'll see community server, right? So click on that and it would give you that it's an open source community server which has all the details like what you would expect. Choose the platform which you want, whether you are on Windows, Mac, Linux, etc. Choose the version. I would choose 4.4 for now and click on download. So once you do that, it would give you this page and it will download it here, you see. So once you have the software downloaded, all you have to do is do next, 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 next which is what mostly all software will be done on Windows, right? Um, so it would install it. I don't I don't foresee any reason why you should have any issue, right? Uh, so once you have it, then it would ask you, just keep continuing to building next, next, right? run it, run it, right? So just accept the terms, click next, click on select complete, run. Now wait here for a minute. It says install MongoDB Compass. Right now, Compass is nothing but it's a GUI tool through which you can connect to MongoDB and see it visually. It's like admin tool. Think of it like a SQL uh, Toad or SQL Developer, etc. So it's very important, easy to use tool. I would recommend you please install it. Right? Don't unselect this. Select this, and then click on Next, Next, Next. You should be done, and installing should be complete. Okay. So once you have completed then you should see that it is completed and then search for MongoDB Compass. So when you open MongoDB Compass, it will open up a simple tool which will ask you to enter some details. Let's just give it a minute. Okay, so it would give you this tool. Uh, this is the Compass tool, which is freely available admin tool. Now remember, MongoDB always runs on locally. It will be local host and the port number is 27017. Always. A lot of people will make mistake here. Don't do that. 
put localhost, put 27017. Click on connect. Now you will ask me where is the username password. For MongoDB, there is no default username password. Okay, there is no username password by default. So click on connect. You should see it should log in and show you the cluster collections, all that. Right, so this is an easy way to create managed database UI. We'll learn all about it in the next episode. Today, just log in and log out and close it. Okay, close it. Now go back. All right, so that's number one. Approach number one. Approach number two is to use MongoDB as a Visual Studio Code extension. If you're like me, who is a hardcore developer who loves Visual Studio Code and can do most of his work there, so this is an important thing. Go to extensions, search for MongoDB VS Code. Right? So you will see an option install. I have already installed it, so I don't see it. But you will click on install and get it installed. Once you install it, you would see this option. Right? Connections. And then it's the same thing like what we saw in Compass. Right? Either you can work on the graphical user interface or you can create a new connection. Right? and do all the things right here in the editor rather than going to anywhere else. This is a very beautiful option. You don't want to miss on it. I personally would prefer this. And last is the MongoDB Atlas. So what it does, it's a cloud hosted, fully managed MongoDB, right? Which means there is nothing to log in, uh, sorry, nothing to install, nothing to upgrade, nothing to maintenance, nothing to um, kind of you know maintain yourself or locally install like that it's in cloud hosted that means you log in use it and log out it's a pay as you go model which means you only pay for what you use and there is a usage usage limit there will be invoices etc etc it's very cost effective if you ask me if you're building a real commercial product right uh, most companies are preferring this now so make sure you check it out at least learn about it online and go to the website mongodb.com and learn about atlas all right so that brings us to the end of this particular episode where we will talk where we talked about installing and getting started starting tomorrow we will learn about database document collection all through hands-on okay make sure you don't want to miss on that get yourself ready get mongodb up and running in your machine and i'll see you in the next episode where we'll start working with our database documents and collections if you like the video give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel also if you really like my work and support me you can buy me a coffee at the below link on the screen thank you so much see you in the next episode